The goal of this video is to provide you with information about the different types of traffic intersections in our community, with some suggestions on ways to safely negotiate your way through each of them. Some safety points are summarized with catchphrases that should be easy to remember and will hopefully become driving habits that you develop and employ. A four-way traffic light or signalized intersection controls the flow of vehicles and pedestrians in order to improve safety and road access. A driver always needs to be alert to the presence of any pedestrians at an intersection, especially if there is one who is using a white cane or traveling with a guide dog. When a motor vehicle hits a pedestrian, it is usually a right-hand turner that is involved. For this reason, it is important for the right-hand turn driver to be extra careful and to always look far enough to his or her right to avoid being surprised by a pedestrian stepping out in front of their vehicle as they are starting into their turn. The tendency is for the driver to only look left to make sure there are no vehicles in the way before he enters the intersection. The driver should always look far enough to the right to ensure there are no pedestrians getting ready to cross, and then look left again before starting up slowly. Look before you go, start up slow. After the green arrow turns to a green light, it is safer if the left-hand turner pulls into the intersection only if it's not occupied by another left-hand turning vehicle. When the light changes from green to yellow, it is safer for the driver to wait for the next left-hand turn cycle. The safest way to make a left-hand turn at a busy traffic light controlled intersection like the one shown here, is demonstrated by the white truck. Here, the driver waits at the limit line until the car positioned ahead of him in the intersection has made their turn, and then waits for it to be clear to make his own left-hand turn. A patient driver chooses to make the left-hand turn when he does not have to hurry it, and he will have more time to see and react to the unexpected. Drivers should be aware that the pedestrian crosswalk needs to be clear of vehicles for the pedestrian to safely use it, and should therefore not stop in the crosswalk during the red light cycle. When the driver stops in the crosswalk, he forces the pedestrian to walk around his vehicle, oftentimes outside of the crosswalk or bordering the intersection. The driver should always stay behind the limit line to ensure pedestrian access to the crosswalk. In order to reduce the chance of an intersection crash, drivers should never park in a crosswalk or near an intersection. When a car is parked in or near the crosswalk, it endangers people walking, biking, and driving. As shown in these scenes, the cyclist should never cut through the crosswalk. Such behavior is dangerous and could result in injuries to pedestrians and the cyclist. While crossing, the pedestrian should also watch out for cars that may be turning when there is a break in the flow of traffic going straight through the intersection. The pedestrian should also be sure that he is visible to traffic before stepping off the sidewalk into the crosswalk. Look for obstacles that might prevent a driver from seeing you. You never want to surprise a driver by just appearing in front of them. A four-way, or all-way stop, as shown here, is generally used where traffic volumes on the intersecting streets are about equal, but are not heavy enough to warrant the expense and delays associated with a traffic signal. The left-hand turner in the next clip is not watching out for the pedestrian and does not yield. The next clip shows a driver in the red truck patiently waiting for the pedestrian with the guide dog to cross. Notice that the left-hand turn signal is on. Don't cause a dent, signal your intent. Unless two cars are going straight through the intersection in opposite directions, only one car should enter the intersection at a time. The drivers should always take their turn and never cut off another driver. Be polite, never slight.
Here the cyclist cuts into the crosswalk from the sidewalk, taking a chance that the driver may be ready to start forward at the same time. A cyclist should always travel in the same direction as the traffic. The right-hand turner is the car that causes the most trouble for the pedestrian, and he or she should always look to the left to see if this vehicle is going to yield before stepping off the curb. Look and listen before crossing. Once in the crosswalk, the pedestrian continues to check for vehicles that may cross his or her path. At a four-way stop intersection, traffic can come from all directions, so the pedestrian needs to be alert. Look and listen while crossing. A single lane modern roundabout, like the one shown here, is easy to navigate and safer than an intersection that is controlled by stop signs or traffic signals. With a raised circular shaped central island, a roundabout is designed to promote a continuous flow of traffic in one direction, while reducing vehicle speeds to between 15 and 20 miles per hour. When approaching a roundabout, a driver should slow down and yield to pedestrians or cyclists who may be utilizing the crosswalk or splitter island. The driver then needs to look for a safe gap in the circular flow of traffic, remembering that vehicles in the roundabout have the right of way. Drivers should also remember to give large vehicles the space they need to maneuver, and the smaller vehicle should drop behind the larger truck as it completes its travel through the roundabout. If you are approaching the roundabout and you hear an emergency vehicle, pull over if there is room. Otherwise, continue on through the roundabout and pull over at an appropriate place after exiting the roundabout. Because traffic moves in a circle, blind and visually impaired pedestrians have trouble determining directional intent of vehicles in the roundabout. When you see a pedestrian with a white cane or guide dog, Remember to stop and yield near the crosswalk and not while still inside the roundabout. A cyclist should never surprise a driver by entering a roundabout at an unexpected point. Always enter at designated entry points, yielding to vehicles already in the roundabout. Most importantly, the cyclist should always travel in a counterclockwise direction so as to avoid collisions with other vehicles in the roundabout. The pedestrian should always cross at the designated crosswalk and never cross to the central island. The pedestrian should never surprise a driver by trying to cross at an unexpected point. A T intersection is a place where one road joins another, but does not cross it so that it forms the shape of the letter T. As with four-way intersections, this three-way intersection can be controlled by traffic signals, traffic signs, or have no traffic controls, generally located in more low-volume traffic areas. At a three-way or all-way stop intersection, drivers need to take their turn and watch for pedestrians before starting up. It is better for the pedestrian to cross with the near parallel car, or in this case, the left-hand turner, which keeps the perpendicular cars in check until she is more visible to all of the traffic. The visually impaired pedestrian will know it is time to begin crossing if the driver pulls up closer to the crosswalk before stopping to yield. There is a concern about the possibility of the yielding car being rear-ended and pushed into the crosswalk as the pedestrian is crossing, and the driver should be aware of this and not pull too close to the crosswalk. 
At this signalized T intersection, pedestrians cross the terminating street as the driver turns left off of the through street. The driver needs to be alert to pedestrians who might be crossing and always yield to the white cane or service dog. At the same intersection, the first driver carelessly cuts in front of the pedestrian, while the second car yields to the white cane in the proper manner. When a car passes a bicycle, the driver may think the cyclist is not going fast enough to be concerned about when making a right-hand turn. However, motorists who fail to check their side-view mirror before turning right account for the majority of collisions between motor vehicles and bicycles. The driver should always signal his or her intention to turn, and always check for the bike before turning right. When riding a bike on the sidewalk, a person has all of the rights and responsibilities of a pedestrian. Although not required to stop for a stop sign, it is safer for a cyclist on the sidewalk to do so. The danger is that the person waiting to make a right turn is looking left for other vehicles before turning right and is not expecting a person on a bike to be crossing in front of him, especially not from the other side. Even when riding a bike on the sidewalk and traveling in the same direction as traffic, it is a good idea to slow down when approaching intersections and anticipate vehicles that may be making right-hand turns. A person driving will not be expecting someone to cross their path from the sidewalk at biking speed. One of the more common collisions is when a driver opens his door right in front of the cyclist. If the driver can get into the habit of using his right hand to open the door, it will force him to turn around and look behind to see if it is clear before he actually opens the door. Drivers should remember to do this. To avoid this, cyclists should remember to ride like this. to avoid having to do this. We hope you have found this video helpful with regard to traveling safely in our community. Remember that it is everyone's responsibility to keep our roads and intersections safe for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers. If we all do our part, intersection crashes will be reduced and we will all enjoy traveling in our community more.